What's up guys? We're gonna do a quick uh, video on um, cleaning the engine bay, a really, really bad engine bay. I'm gonna let you guys check that out. But what we're gonna be using to clean this engine bay, a couple simple stuff. Uh, I got my drill and assortment of brushes. So these brushes, they attach to the drill. Then I got, I found this, br this uh, brush in the 99 cent store, which was uh, 99 cents. And then I have Simple Green in this Armor Oil bottle because you need a spray bottle. Simple Green or soapy water. And then I got my steamer. So, I mean, all in all, if you bought some Simple Green, the steamer, <clears throat> and assortment of brushes, you probably pay about 60 bucks. I assume that maybe you got a drill at home. But if you don't have a drill, it doesn't matter. You could just use the brushes because all they're going to do is just agitate um, the dirt. Then I got a bunch of microfiber towels and stuff over here. So I'm going to use it bunch of towels and just wipe down the engine bay so uh let's go check out the engine bay all right guys so it's pretty bright out here hopefully the sun doesn't show as glary as it is uh for me but as you can see this engine bay is it's disgusting like there's caked up uh oil on here uh, you know it's just dirty everywhere there's a lot of uh there's oil residue up here you know there's just oil residue and dirt everywhere in here and yeah you would like to put a hose to it but we're not going to do that we don't want any other problems so yeah let's just get right to it all right guys so the steamer it got the water on it so while that's heating up and building some steam we're going to take the simple green and just spray around you know, all these greasy areas to start loosening up a lot of the dirt and grime and everything else that's in here. Is agitated, just gonna. I mean, not everything is wet with uh, simple green, just gonna agitate everything with the dirt with this brush. Now it's time to steam this thing, guys. Got the steamer. I got a brush attachment on the steamer, too. And while you got it loose, grab your microfiber cloth. Alright guys, slowly coming along. I'm gonna do some more steaming over there. You know, some more steaming, working on this side some more. And then we're gonna go to the other side of the engine.
well so far guys this thing is uh it's coming along pretty good the steamer is breaking up a lot of this a lot of the old grease and cleaning up everything but uh what i'm gonna do now is actually i'm gonna get the blower and just blow out all the excessive dust and i'm gonna spray it down again with some sim simple green just so that I could sit on here and agitate with the brush again Right, guys we're making a lot of headway here i mean we could see the color code again the this you can actually see the color it doesn't look black anymore you know these pieces are coming along it is cleaning up nicely there's still plenty more work to do so i'm just gonna fill the steamer again get that loaded back up and uh just continue you know continue through all these crevices i got up here so you can see the VIN once again. So just uh, get the rest and just keep moving. All right guys, so this brush is for all those areas where you can't really reach into. So you just kind of you know, reach in. Scrub out some of those areas. It's hard to reach with anything else. This is actually perfect. To get in all these areas here. All right, guys, so in doing this to an old car, this is when you find out all the brittle and pieces that just need to be changed. So this sensor, whatever it is, just literally just fell apart, you know, while wiping it. So these just pull right apart. So I'm going to have to change this. This uh, 
this expansion tank this looked like the overflow tube this just broke apart gonna have to change this yeah that is the overflow tube because here goes the exit piece so that's simple just put one in and overflow outside the body uh but yeah i mean you see those crevices uh this thing is coming along beautifully some more steaming more wiping almost done All right, guys, so the last part of this uh, engine cleanup and detail is I picked up some Meguiar uh, black plastic restoration. Like, apparently, this is supposed to make the all the plastic pieces basically, like, just, you know, come back to life and really make this engine bay pop right after this. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to apply on, uh, this on. The thing I do like about this is... It's a non-greasy uh, formula. It's like it's a, uh, it's kind of like a shampooish, but it ain't greasy. So the fact that it's not greasy means that dust isn't gonna stick to it when I apply it on here. So let me get this on all the plastics and see what we got. All right, guys. Well, that's it. That's it. Uh, what do you think? I mean, I think this thing is 10 times better than what it was. Let's go around the other side. So this stuff is really, it's really not greasy. Like, it's just... Goes on and really, you know, that Maguire stuff really made the black shine. Come around this side. It's not greasy at all. It just really shined it up. The uh, tubes as well. But, I mean, overall, this thing, the trims, the trim, the thing really conditioned the trims and made them shine a lot better because they was all brittle. But I'm pretty happy. Pretty happy with the results. So, I didn't go too crazy with like the wires and uh, distributor and stuff like that because I actually ordered all that. And then the valve cover, there's a new valve cover gasket coming. I ordered that. So, you know, I'm going to be changing a few things in here maintenance wise. But, uh, you know, that's why I didn't go too crazy. But, you know, I did spend about two hours on this. It definitely looks amazing compared to what it was. All right, guys. So the uh, E30 is done. It's done for the day. Uh, I'm very happy with how that engine bay came out. Let me know what you guys think. It You know, the hardest part about this job is just time. It took a lot of time. You know, I spent over two hours on it. It's really just wiping everything down. If you guys do not have one of these steamers, do yourself some justice. If you're into cars, pick one of these things up. Like it really breaks down grease, breaks down dirt, grime, old stuff that the solution just wouldn't get off. The steamer breaks it down, wipe it right away. So get yourself one of those. But guys, that's it for this video. You see this turbo sitting here. I'm about to now get started on the 2JZ build. I'm going to get that turbo in that car 
and do a little, uh, a couple other little things. So until next time, guys, thank you. Peace.